Okay, it is not too late to book that summer trip, and it turns out if you do wait, prices might look a little better, but it's certainly not as cheap to travel as it once was. No matter how you travel, it's going to cost you this summer. It's up about 18% for domestic travel compared to this time in 2018. That's an extra $60 more per ticket, according to Haley Berg, an economist from Hopper, a popular app that specializes in travel deals. She says although some airfare is sky high, prices are slowly coming down. We expect airfare to start falling off, actually, and we're already seeing that airfare is down about $30 from its peak just a few weeks ago. Demand for travel increases until about June, but then slows down as we head into July and August. Travelers can actually expect to save some money on airfare if they can wait and travel in late August or even September and October. However, Airbnb prices are up more than 11% this year. The average hotel cost was nearly $171 a night in May, $40 more than a year ago. And rental cars have soared 70% during the pandemic. So if you are looking to travel still, here's Berg's best advice. Number one tip if you're planning to travel this summer is to be flexible. If you can travel in late August, you can save about $120 per round trip ticket on airfare and as much as $100 for a three night stay at a hotel. As for what's really popular right now, travel experts say those all inclusive vacations to Central America and the Caribbean are the hot ticket items. Stick around. More